In this presentation, we're going to discuss about the basics of pointer syntax. We're going to get into some of the complication of pointer syntax in C. Here is a small program with a pointer variable in it. So this is C pointer variable declaration in star PTR. So we have a local variable here and A equal to 10 and PTR equal to ampersand A and trend of percentage D star PTR. So this is a program we're gonna explain today. For example, the star here and the star here has entirely different meaning. So these are the different uses of star operator in C programming language. One is obviously most of us know that it's multiplication. Second is the pointer declaration, which is the int star. Third is the pointer dereferencing. So the second and third are completely different with no relation. It is as good as one and two, multiplication and pointer declaration. So there is no relation. So the pointer declaration in star PTR, it is telling the compiler we want to allocate a variable of size pointer which is of type integer. So basically we are telling the compiler to allocate space for a 32-bit number. PTR is the name of the variable and int star is the data type. It is just like int a. Unfortunately the compiler support all the below syntax. int star space PTR, there is a space up here in star PTR where there is no space in star PTR where the space is here in star PTR where the space is here and you have parentheses up here and here all these declarations are in one way confusing counterintuitive and same meaning so it is all in star PTR same meaning the third use of star operator is pointer dereferencing. In this scenario, what we are doing is we are telling the compiler a same value 10 to the memory allocation pointer by the variable PTR. It's not a declaration. We are telling the compiler to assign a value to that particular memory location. This operation is called a dereferencing of a pointer variable. As I mentioned before, this has no similarity or relation with the star operator you have seen in the previous page. Now, how do I know which one is which? Mostly, the declaration part comes at the beginning. Also, in front of the star, you will have a data type. So that is how you recognize the declaration star. So a data type star, a variable name, that is a declaration. If you see a star which doesn't have a data type in front like int, char or a custom data type like struct, it is either multiplication or it is dereferencing. So multiplication and dereferencing in most cases are straightforward. If it is not a declaration, it is either multiplication or dereferencing and you can easily figure out which one is which in star PTR equal to 100. So int is a data type. So it is a keyword. In this case the star is declaration. So in star it is a data type. Now star PTR equal to 10. So you don't have a data type in front. So definitely this is a dereferencing. So we're going to see further examples. Now let's discuss about the ampersand operator or address of operator. This operator always gives the address of a variable. This ampersand operator also has a similar confusing area when it comes to C++ where the ampersand is used to declare reference variable in C++. We are not discussing that here. So now we are left with a couple of exercises which we're going to do it in Visual Studio and see the disassembly etc. 
So the same program we have here in Visual Studio. So I'm going to build and execute this particular program. So I'm going to the disassembly window. This is a function block. This is the two stack variable PTR and A. So ESP minus 8. In this case int a equal to 10 we have equal end instruction here move d word ptr a 0 a 0 a is nothing but 10 and hex this is what what is interesting for us ptr equal to ampersand a ampersand a is the address of operator so what we are going to get is there is a stack variable we have called a what we're going to do is we're going to take the address of that variable this is the equivalent instruction for that so we are moving the address of a so that is this is the assembly equivalent it's a square bracket so square bracket is kind of ampersand in assembly so we are taking the address of a so square bracket a and moving it to eax so the instruction being used is LEA, Lord Effective Address. So whatever this value will be copied to EAX. So we are moving EAX into D word PTR PTR. So we are moving to that variable here. So this these are the two instructions which we need to understand what is happening. So what we will do is Visual Studio is abstracting a little bit up here. So like like we did before, we will see this particular program in WinDebug. So this is the same program opened in WinDebug. We have broken into the main function. All we are interested in is this particular statement. So I'm gonna reach the execution up to that point. So F10, F10. So PTR equal to ampersand A, that is the next statement which is going to execute. Let's see the assembly instructions. So these are the two assembly instructions the program is going to execute next. LEA EX comma EBP minus four in square bracket. Move D word PTR EBP minus eight in square bracket comma EAX. So EAX will have EBP minus four after that instruction. LEA EAX comma EBP minus four. So what is the value of EBP at the moment? So EBP has this particular value: double zero two nine FA two four. EBP minus four is obviously double zero two nine FA two zero. So EAX will have that value after the execution of this particular statement. After the execution of this particular statement, EBP minus eight will have EAX, which is same as this particular value. Double zero two nine FA two zero is the address of A. So it is nothing but the address of A which is nothing but ampersand A. So EBP minus 8 is nothing but the PTR. So it is a first local variable. So what is happening? We are copying address of A which is EBP minus 4 to PTR which is EBP minus 8. So currently the value of EAX is this. So it is going to change to EBP minus 4 which is 0029 FA20 so I'm going to press F10 0029 FA20 in EAX it is also executed this particular statement which is D word PTR EBP minus 8 comma EAX now if I look into the value of EBP minus 8 I should get the exact same address so to look at the raw memory so again the command is DC I'll get the exact same value. This is EBP minus 8 contains EBP minus 4. This is pointer variable. 
So this is EPP minus 8, which is the PTR, and this is EPP minus 4. Now let's go back to our slides. So this program we have seen in very detail. So we have seen the disassembly, we have seen the registers, how PTR equal to ampersand A works in law level or the lowest level possible. We have another program here. So in star PTR equal to 100, star PTR equal to 10. Now let's see what happens for this program. I'm going to the disassembly window. This is the assembly instruction equivalent to this particular statement. As we have seen, this is a familiar statement to us. So what it does is it copies 64 to this particular address. So what we are interested in is the assembly instruction equivalent to this particular line of code. So this is an address of the local variable. So D word PTR EPP minus 4. We are copying this particular value to EAX here. So that's okay. Everything good. So now what we are doing is we are trying to dereference EAX. We are trying to access the value inside this particular address which is there in EAX. So EAX contains 64. So after this statement EAX will contain 64. So we are trying to put 0A into the address 64. There we're going to have a problem because address 64 is an invalid address. It's not an allocated memory. So let's see that. I'm pressing F10. Now we have 100 in EAX. Now what we are going to do is we're going to dereference EAX which contains 100. So there we got a problem. So unhandled exception at this particular address. Where is that address? So this is the address. 01E5100E. So this address and the type of exception we are getting is something called access violation. So this is a general exception we get in this kind of scenario. So what is the address we were trying to write? So the address we were trying to write is 64 which is 100 in hex. So we were trying to write into this address. So we were trying to dereference and write into that particular address which is not a valid address. So that's an invalid address. We cannot dereference invalid addresses. So no one has allocated memory for it. So what we need to learn from this is these two instructions. So what we are doing here is we are trying to dereference whatever address we are giving here. So this star and this star is completely different. There is no relation between those two things. So what I recommend is go ahead and write more programs. We have examples coming and look at the disassembly of those examples and try to understand what is going on. So now let's go back to our slides. So we have seen this program. We have an access violation because address 100 is not valid. So this program is also potentially cause access violation because it contains this particular statement. So this particular statement, we are trying to dereference this particular address. So this is OK. So this would be printing 0. So this will be printing the address of this local variable. So this is pretty much similar to the one we have seen before. So this statement is exactly same as in star PTR without the parentheses. So this parentheses doesn't make any difference here. 
even if you remove the program remains the same and we are trying to dereference address 100 so we're gonna get an access violation in this as well so this program is also wrong so this program kind of demonstrate all the three star operators we have three pointer variable declarations so these are variable declarations we have three local variables a b and c we are assigning the address of a b and c to ptr a ptr b and ptr c respectively then we have a statement here which contains this is the dereference operator this is also the dereference operator so this is the multiplication operator and this is the dereference operator again so what we are doing is we are multiplying 10 and 20 and putting it into C so that's what this program does So what I recommend is you look at the assembly generated for this program and see how it works so this contains all the three star operator in C that summarizes our session on the pointer syntax basics so we have seen the three uses of star operator and we have seen the disassembly of star operator pointer declaration and ampersand operator so that's it thank you very much